Back in 2018, Sunspot Solar Observatory in New Mexico was investigated over an 11-day period. The closure of the Sunspot Solar Observatory led to many theories being put forward as to why it was shut down. The reason behind the closure was so that officials could carry out an official investigation into the janitor that was working there, saying that the individual was using the observatory's Wi-Fi network in order to send and receive things that they shouldn't have been. Since this has come out though, other people who have connections to this event have spoken out. The individual who was in charge of shutting down the facility told the chief observer at the facility that they'd found something, and that the things that were being searched for via the observatory's Wi-Fi were not good. The investigators were able to track all of this activity, knew where the individual lived, and could see the type of things that they were searching and sending. The laptop was eventually confiscated, and the solar observatory was closed for almost two weeks. Since this happened though, people have spoken out about this, with some of those being a former Nasri employee, and also someone whose dad was part of the raid. Other people online couldn't seem to connect the dots, and said that the events that played out were unnecessary. One person said the following, why would you need to close down an observatory for almost two weeks if you knew who the individual was, knew where they lived and also had an activity log on what they were doing? Why not go to their house directly, or catch them as they were walking to their car? Why close the observatory down for almost a two-week period? It feels like we aren't being told the full story. End quote. This individual said that their dad was part of the raid saying the following My dad was part of the raid and he told me that no one there knew what was going on He told me that different people knew bits and pieces but everyone was sworn to secrecy about what happened that day My dad to this day hasn't told any of us the real reason why they were there but did say that something is happening with the sun that's led to it being observed more closely End quote Interestingly, during this event, something did happen with the sun. Amateur skywatchers noticed that strange objects could be seen close to our sun, with many of them being able to capture photographs of this event, leading them to ask whether this was the real reason why the observatory had been closed down in the first place, in fear that it would cause people to panic and question what these things were. Although scientists denied these claims, and said that the observatory wasn't closed for this reason, people did go on to share their photographs of the sun, along with highlighting the strange objects. One event that did happen was two lunar transits, with NASA saying the following on their website. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory saw two lunar transits as the moon passed in front of the sun. A transit happens when a celestial body passes between a larger body and an observer. This first lunar transit lasted one hour, and obscured 92% of the sun at the peak of its journey. The second transit happened several hours later at 9.52pm, and lasted a total of 49 minutes. The moon appears to go in one direction and then switches direction to cross the moon again. The moon does not of course actually change direction, but it appears to do so from the Solar Dynamics Observatory perspective based on the fact that the spacecraft's orbit essentially catches up and passes the moon during the first transit. End quote. Interestingly, during this time it became apparent that six more solar observatories had been shut down, including Australia, Chile, Spain, two in Hawaii and Pennsylvania. All of their cameras were down at the same time during the solar observatory's closure, while the solar observatory was shunned, one resident by the name of Maria photographed something incredible next to the sun, describing it as a massive craft that looked like a disc. This strange object was also surrounded by what appeared to be hundreds of smaller objects. When she uploaded these photographs, it led many to suggest that this may have been the real reason for why the observatory was shut down with believers saying that this would be something that they wouldn't want the public seeing. 
One person said the following about these photographs. What if they closed it because they didn't want people to see these things close to our son? We still haven't got an answer for why they decided to close it for so long. Well, this person said this. Something that often gets missed about this story is the fact that they closed down the nearby post office. Now, to me, the only reason why they would do this is to prevent information from getting out. People that work close to the area have told me that pretty much everything was shut down, and that they didn't want anything getting out. I wonder if they shut it down for so long because they had to do the rounds, and tell everyone to be quiet about what was going on. Why else would you shut everything down? End quote. Other people speculated that it may have had something to do with Space Force, suggesting that they may have been conducting space activities that they didn't want people knowing about. As of right now, there's still many unanswered questions. Why did they shut down the observatory for so long? Why did they close the post office? Why were six other solar observatories temporarily shut down while all of this was going on? What do Maria's photographs show? Could this be the reason why all of this happened? Maybe they thought they could have closed these observatories down without bringing too much attention to themselves. As of right now, there's still many unanswered questions, and in many people's opinion, the reason it was temporarily shut down remains a mystery. So why do you think the solar observatory was closed for an 11-day period? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.